What's up guys, Sean the Bro here, and in today's episode we are going to be going over renaming your project that has C++ in it. Renaming projects in Unreal Engine isn't so bad, but when you have C++ classes and code, it can make things a lot more challenging. So I am not the one that came up with this method, this is actually a public method from the Unreal Engine forms that I really like and I always use when I rename projects, so credit here on this renaming a C++ project form post. Now, what I'm going to be doing is renaming my Twitch game project to something else. I'm going to change my project name from Twitch game to something like Side Scroller Tutorial. To do that, the first thing we should do is make a duplicate of this project just in case anything does go wrong. Of course, if anything gets screwed up, you could have errors and it might cause problems. So doing this on a duplicate is the best possible scenario. If you want to do it in place, that's fine too. Just be very careful. I'll try and go over every single step that you need with as much precision as possible. So getting started, I want to make a copy of Twitch Game 5.1. I am going to go ahead and do that. So you can literally copy it and paste it. Now you may need to close Visual Studio to do this. At this point I have my copy and what I want to do is rename it. So instead of Twitch Game 5.1 copy, I'm going to call it Side Scroller Tutorial. And I'll go into it. Now at this point we want to rename the U Project file. So rename to side scroller tutorial dot u project. Now we can right click on the u project and open it with something like notepad. If you don't see this edit with notepad plus plus you can open with and choose another app and then go and find something like your regular notepad app. I do have notepad plus plus and I do like it quite a bit so I'm going to use it. Regardless of what you use, you should see the U project file opened here in plain text. And now we need to change the name here to the new name that we want. So instead of Twitch game, we're going to do side scroller tutorial. Make sure you save this file. And once you do, we can go back to the file explorer. The guide mentions if you use a thumbnail, you may have a .png in here for that thumbnail, and it will be the old name, so it'll be twitchgame.png. You can change that to sidescrollertutorial.png. I don't have one, so I don't have to do that, but if you do see a PNG in here in the base folder, then go ahead and change it. Then we're going to go into the source folder, and we need to rename things in here. The first one being the .target.cs file. So it's twitchgame.target.cs. We're going to rename that to side scroller tutorial all right and now we want to open up this file we can do it again with notepad or whatever program you choose and then we want to switch out anything that had twitch game with side scroller tutorial so twitch game target here needs to become side scroller tutorial target then we have public twitch game target and we need to switch that to side scroller tutorial target just like that for the modules that we're adding we have twitch game and we want to switch that to side scroller tutorial and that is everything for the target.cs file now let's go back to the file explorer and we want to do the same thing for the editor so this is twitch game editor.target.cs let's change it from that to side scroller tutorial editor.target.cs then open this one up with a text editor and we're going to switch twitch game editor target to side scroller tutorial editor target so side scroller tutorial editor target now for public twitch game editor target you can pretty much guess what we're going to do we're going to change it to side scroller tutorial editor target then for the module that's adding, instead of Twitch game, we're going to add side scroller tutorial. Then we can go back to the file explorer again. We want to rename the folder in here 
to side scroller tutorial and then we want to go into that folder once we're in this folder we have to find the .build.cs file and we want to rename that as well so twitch game.build.cs becomes side scroller tutorial.build.cs at this point we want to open up this file so i can right click on it and open it with notepad plus plus and we're going to do the same thing in here where we rename the twitch game to side scroller tutorial public twitch game in here is going to be the same deal twitch game becomes side scroller tutorial and make sure you save it now we can go back to the file explorer and we can return to the base folder which is this one here where you can see the U project and all that good stuff. We want to right click on the U project and generate Visual Studio project files. If you can't see this for any reason, you have to make sure the program you're opening this with is Unreal Engine. So open with Unreal Engine. It shouldn't say UE4 editor or UE5 editor, it should say Unreal Engine. If it doesn't, choose another app and pick that one. Then you should see these options and what we want to do is generate visual studio project files now when you do this it's going to replace the solution file that we have with the new solution file that gets generated it should be generated with the proper name based on the renames we just did this is the solution that we want to use it doesn't override the old one but you can manually delete it at this point. Now we want to go into the solution file. So when you double click this, it should open up in Visual Studio. We want to open up our games folder and then our project solution here. Then the side scroller tutorial folder here. And we want to go to the one that is the old name of the project, .h and .cpp. So let's start with the Twitch game .cpp. In here, we want to change the implement primary game module. So Twitch game is going to become a side scroller tutorial. And Twitch game in quotes is going to become a side scroller tutorial in quotes. We can open up the Twitch game.h as well, but this shouldn't have anything that we need to swap. Let's go back to the file explorer and go to the config folder. Now in each one of these configuration files, the right name should be used. This goes for the default ones as well as any custom files you've added. So let's open up default editor.ini. You'll see nothing in here is using the old name or the new name for that matter. So this one's perfectly fine. Let's go to the next one. This looks good. Default engine. In here, we have this script slash engine section, and we need to basically redirect our game to understand the new modules, the new name that we're using. So you'll see there's two here. There's one for the size scroller going to the Twitch game, and there's one for the script slash side scroller going to the Twitch game. We need to not only change them to go to the side scroller tutorial, but we also need to add a new one in here as well. So let's replace the two that are in here with side scroller tutorial. Then let's copy one of them. We don't want the active class redirectors. We want the active game name redirectors. In the old name section, we're going to put what we had previously in the new name section, which is our Twitch game. And now in the new name section, we are going to put side scroller template again. Additionally, if you scroll down to the bottom of this file, we're going to make a new section called URL. And we are going to set game name equal to the new name that we want, which is our side scroller tutorial. We need to go through the rest of the INI files, so let's open them up real quick. So going back into this, we have our default game INI. We want to edit that one. This has been changed to side scroller game template, so that is good. And the last one is the default input.ini. It does not have anything for the old name, so this one is safe to leave alone. So our config folder is good. Now we want to go to the header files of our classes. So if you go to 
the code and take a look at all your classes, specifically the header files like base enemy.h. We want to make sure that the API has been changed to the proper name. Instead of Twitch game API, we want to change this to side scroller tutorial underscore API. You could do this manually or you could actually copy, find, and replace this. in the entire solution and then hit replace all. So it replaced three occurrences for me. So if I go to my other ones like base pickup.h, twitch game character.h, it's not using that API, and zombie.h, everything is looking how it should. Now that we've done all that, we can actually change our Twitch game.cpp and Twitch game.h that we were working in earlier. So we're going to want to go back to those files and we're going to change this include to be side scroller tutorial.h. But these files aren't actually named that yet. With everything else we've done, we can go and rename these. So I'm going to rename Twitch game.cpp to side scroller tutorial.cpp and Twitch game.h side scroller tutorial.h. Now the include will work and they will reference each other and we've successfully renamed those files. We can also go into the file explorer and do this if we don't want to do it inside of Visual Studio, but you'll see that it did affect the files in the explorer. We can also clean up a few files by renaming them. These ones aren't required, but if we go back to the base folder, there is this .vc.db file that was previously Twitch game. We can rename that one to be side scroller tutorial and we can go to the parent folder here and rename this entire thing to be side scroller tutorial as well. After doing this, it basically just leaves some of the source files that may have the name in it. So that is like the Twitch game character, Twitch game game mode that are created when you use a template. If you go to rename these files, you'll have to change the includes, you'll have to change constructor and all of that. It is a lot more advanced than just renaming them. However, there are ways to rename classes and files in C++. That is universal between all C++ projects, so I want to cover that in a separate episode, but we will use this project as a template, so you can look forward to that. Now we're going to go ahead and hit build solution. If there's any errors, we will fix them. At this point, you can see my editor is open. This is now called the Side Scroller Tutorial. It is no longer called the Twitch game, but everything is still working as intended. Thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube membership and even Discord supporters now. I really appreciate you guys. And you keep these series alive, so you deserve an extra special thank you. Thank you so much. If you ran into any issues, feel free to reach out to me in the Discord community. I'll be happy to help you, and it is completely free. But anyway, guys, like I said, that is all I got. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Sean the Bro, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, my friends.